Three Minute Mastery for Module 2 Sedimentary Rock Deformations. We're going to talk about uh, an introduction to basic oil traps. So the first thing that we need to recognize is that there are no lakes that's a nice one, of oil underground. That is a uh, very friendly visual, but unfortunately it's incorrect. Uh, better to think, and in fact it's more accurate to say, that these rocks that contain oil and gas and even water underground are like sponges that are full of fluid. So these rocks are full of gas, and they're full of oil, and they're full of water. In fact, it's salt water. Uh, salt water is what they call conate water, meaning this is water that was captured along the same time as the oil and gas, and it all migrated upward together. The gas is the least dense of these three, gas, oil, and water, so it makes sense that the gas would be found in rocks nearest the surface. Uh, the water is the most dense of these three fluids, so it makes sense that it would be at the bottom. Uh, and it's actually preferred to find all three of these together when drilling or exploring because that water creates additional pressure underground that can help drive the oil to the surface without requiring additional pumping. So what I'd like you to do is uh, do some research and find out which source rocks, uh, which types of rocks make the best source rocks. Uh, so would those be metamorphic, igneous, or sedimentary. 